Hey guys, what's Kieran Russell Bench here, and uh, just wanted to talk about my opinions of the Mass of Three, Mass of Three, Mass of Three ending, the Mass Effect Three ending. Um, so yeah, spoilers. Uh, if you're watching this anyway, fuck you, yeah, I don't care. Spoilers. Just, just wash your hands. Just wash your hands, and you don't have to worry about spoilers. So, so base. I had a few issues actually leading up to the ending. There was a shit ton of bugs. Uh, mostly in the cutscenes, the my characters, my team, I had Lara and uh, and Garrus and Edie. We used to just switch up between them three, and uh, I'd give them weapons, I'd give them specific things, and in the cutscenes they have assault rifles. I'm like, why does Edie have an assault rifle? I don't remember giving her an assault rifle. Then there was my shepherd. So my, oh, we had a, a pistol. You just whip it out, and away I had it because I took it off him. I was like, I don't need a pistol to give give it here. And no, bam! He just whips it out. Whips it. So he just whips his pistol out, like in just random cutscenes. It pissed me off every time because it happened a lot. It's just like that's not the gun I am using. Bioware. So that was that was a that pissed me off. But it wasn't a game breaker, you know. I still enjoyed the game. You know, I just ignored it. Well, I tried to. It pissed me off. Other bugs were phew, certain parts of the Citadel. You'd look over the railings of certain areas and you'd look down and see the people and you could tell the people were just like poorly done body morphs of the aliens and it was just looked like shit. Then you'd have people walking around who did not match the fake people but they were on like a set route, uh, route. they just walk around in circles. Then you had this bug where people would just float along the floor and it was like, what are you doing? What, what are you doing people at Bioware? Simple bugs. Another bug was uh, I got stuck in the Normandy and the uh, bit the, 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 the what's it called now Ugh. the bit where Joker is the ah oh, fudge I stood there you standing there and he just like he'd slip and just get stuck so I had to reload or luckily I got into a cutscene with Joker talking and that freed me but that was annoying uh, one yeah, another bug. I got my all stats reset. I did the mission with the uh, Cerberus scientist, uh, with uh, Jacob was there from Mass Effect 2. And uh, I finished that, came back to Normandy, saved, took a break, came back, did a load of shit. Then went into another mission where you went to the Asari homeworld to get the artifact thing. And uh, I noticed, what the hell, Why? Where's all, my, where's all my stats? Why? What? What? All my weapons were unequipped. And... I panicked because I loaded up previous save and it was still <laughs> it, I don't know what the hell. And luckily I I had a previous previous save and I just had to rush through all this talking I did this as well just to get back to where I was. But so luckily I didn't screw myself too bad right there, but that was a pain in the ass. That reset fucking hell. So buggy. So but so apart from the bugs and the lack of Choices like it just felt more streamlined. Like they just wanted to make it more actiony, take the choice. It just felt like I had less control of my shepherd, and that really showed at the ending where you get all the galaxy, you rally them up, you get them together, and you have this final battle where you just walking along, you just surviving. And it was just, it was pretty cool, especially a bit where you get fired upon by uh, I think it's Sovereign that fires at you. I'm not quite sure the names elude me. And uh, that was a good bit, and then you're half dead, and you get to the Citadel, and that's got to love that bit. That's great. That's like, it reminds me of Metal Gear Solid Four, the ending to that, where you you getting you go you're crawling through a uh, microwave sort of thing, and your suit's tearing away, and you just become this old man who's weak as fuck, and I don't even really remember that ending either. But it was a very good ending. I remember that ending sort of. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> and uh, so you get to the Citadel, and this is my real issue: the the endings it gives you. Suddenly this little boy god who controls the reapers, I don't fucking know. This little kid who you've seen since the beginning of Mass Effect 3, who died, but was he even real? I don't even know, it's fucked, it's fucked up with my brain. It came out of nowhere. And then it turns out you have three choices. And during these three choices, Shepard doesn't even question it. You know, after all this fuck, fucked up shit we've done, saving the galaxy several times, Uniting all the peoples, we don't even get a choice. It's not like I was here. Whoa, whoa, who the fuck are you? We don't even ask that. It's like, what the fuck's going on? Why, why are you here? 
What the hell? What? You what? You want me to do what? And all the three choices basically end up that you die. You die. You have the red option, the blue option, the green option. Basically you have the middle path, the left path, and the right path, you know. The left path is you controlling the reapers, but you die. What? What? The right path is you destroy the reapers, but you die. Huh? The middle path is you jump into the stream because and you're because you're part synthetic as well, because of uh, the elusive man rebuilt you, that you then merge all the peoples with synthetic life and everyone's like half organic, half synthetic, so no one has to ever try and kill each other again for some fucked up reason, even though your know, conflict is decided by people and not whether you're synthetic or organic most of the time, you know, the Torians humans when they first first contact war they just attacked each other, they weren't synthetic or he, f organics and ugh. So that I, I tried for the fourth option because you can walk back a little bit. So I walked back a little bit and I was like, expecting like this hidden end and I was like, oh I'm gonna get a hidden ending where Shepard lives and f just tells this ghost kid to fuck off. But, but no. no, it doesn't let me go further back. And then it takes like five minutes just to walk to your choice because you, you limp in, you, you got a little pistol with you, it's like, what the fuck? And again, the pistol. Actually, no, you'd hit the, the pistol. My preferred ending. And, and, then, and then at the end, the, the cutscene, it's like, I've seen the three choices now, videos and stuff. The only thing that changes in the cutscene is the colours of the explosion. And then in each bit, you see the Normandy running away from each explosion. And then they crash. And somehow... I had uh, Edie with me on Earth. Somehow she got to the Normandy in a time it took me to get from Earth to the Citadel to blowing it up. And then that wasn't really that long. I mean, surely. Ah, fuck, I don't, I don't understand how my teammates that were with me on Earth got to the Normandy and escaped before the explosion. Because they, they fucking flew fast. They were a, a long ways away. And they landed on some planets. Now my preferred ending would have been something involving the Keepers, maybe they created the Reapers, and the Reapers went out of control, so the Keepers made the Citadel, but it was too late, so they put their faith into the next sets of uh, civilizations, and then so the, you know, then the Crucible gets involved, and that's the weapon, and they connect to the Citadel, and the weapon had a choice, that you can make the choice either kill the Reapers, take control, or, I don't know, fuck knows. I don't know. I just would have preferred something other than die, die, and die. You know, I wanted a happy, I'd, I'd be honest, I wanted a happy ending. And I wanted more involvement from the people I got to help me. Because it, it didn't seem like it mattered. I didn't see any, just, just, I'm, I'm unsatisfied, basically. And now there's talk of DLC and stuff fixing it, it's, what? No. No, you've it's over, you've done it. I don't want DLC that just is either a prequel to the end or some kind of redone ending that doesn't it's just like I already paid for the game. <laughs> Why should I pay for another ending? <gasps> oh, I'm just unhappy and not satisfied and it's depressing and I know that Shepard's end story is going to end, and they're like on about different Ma Mass Effect games, but still, you don't have to die. You should have a choice, like Dragon Age, uh, Dragon Age, Origins. You have the choice. You have a die, save everyone, or you get someone else to die. <laughs> you know, you get the choice. You have the, there's choices. Bioware known for choices, but they fucked up with Mass Effect Three. They they seem to just seemingly just wanted to throw the choices away and just made them all lie. I don't know. <sighs> Stupid. What? What you? What do you guys think? Do you think it was right to have the Reapers basically be controlled by some kid god, who basically said, "Well, no, we can't let civilization get too advanced because they'll build, they'll then build synthetics, which will then kill everyone." But, but how did you get to that conclusion? <laughs> so, synthetics decided to save organics because they killed all the what? I, I don't understand. I, I really don't. I, just, I, just, I don't see how they got to that conclusion. I would have liked it better if the Reapers just, you know, they just decided, fuck it, we're just going to harvest humanity and organics just to make ourselves better. 
every time they get advanced enough to use them. Because we're machines, you know, we can wait forever. <laughs> it's the rush. We're not mortal. That would have made more sense. Not this bullshit. Oh, we have to, because it's we have to kill you to save you. Oh, because I'm a kid guard and I'm the kid from your dreams. Which made no fucking sense. Why didn't the shepherd question that? My shepherd would have questioned that. Okay. I think I'm done. So yeah, leave comments. Oh, don't. Whatever. I don't quite care. This is my rant. Review Mass Effect 3. Uh, uh, great up to the end, even though filled with some bugs and the choices seem to not really matter. Yeah. Thank you. Wash your hands. Spoilers. Mm.